Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Video Game Pickups. Um, here's the haul that I show you today. Actually, it is more like a trade because I got this from my mate by trading him some of my stuff for some of his stuff. He won. He was searching for Nintendo NES games. But I had literally some spare from last year in the box. So we did doing nothing but taking up a bit of room. So for traded it for something that I like it yet again. You probably can guess what it is. I, I traded him. Daikon, I think, Remaster, Robocop 2, I think. Um, a couple more Mario titles. They wouldn't originally be worth a lot, but 5 to £10 each. But that was 70, 68 pounds worth of titles if you bought them at the shops. But he wanted them. So I currently traded them for this bundle. But I think he didn't, this bundle he told me he probably got for nothing or a good deal on it. So equally traded out. So he's got, he would originally ask for the same amount I would have did any of stuff for, but this one's faster shifting stock. So, first is, you can guess it yet again, I can get this stuff on in week on week. It's a 64, it's in mint condition. And it won't, actually, it's not, this one ain't mint, I think it's, yeah, it's just dirt on the back. Not a scratch, but still in nice condition. But the best part about it, comes with a red expansion. Um, I've probably got about one, two, three, four, four, yeah, probably about over 10 64s in stock at the moment. Most of them with the red expansions, as you plunk them out and put the normal one in, if I have a normal one in stock. Sometimes I get more for these separate than I do sell them as a whole. I'll probably, normal 64s I like you get 40, 50, and expansions of 60 pound when they do sell. So it's been a bit slow on the 64 sale slightly. Like that, and then Christmas, I usually run out of stock so far. So, 50 60. It came with a purple Nintendo 64 translucent controller and a normal grey controller. Nothing major in that, uh, nothing about the 64. Came it wasn't a multi coloured one. He said he might get one in a couple of weeks. Hopefully, he does. <laughs> I probably want a bit more for that one because it is boxed, probably. <laughs> That's what he says anyway. Uh, but he threw these titles in for free. Um, if anyone wants these, just let me know. Uh, International Superstar Soccer. There we go. I don't know much about this title. But I know I've got about these 5 or 10 box ones of these, probably. Let's check the condition of it. Yeah, immaculate inside. I would usually sell this for about 5 or 10 pounds. I'll probably trade it away, more likely. And Michael Owens 2000, not a major title yet again, but worth about five to ten pounds. Again, it was all in there, the manual and everything. <laughs> and my voice is a bit creaky today, but <laughs> um, so just that lot alone is worth most of my money back. And probably these ones I'm probably keep. World Cup um, 98. It's not a very rare title. It's probably worth about one to two pound, but. Yeah, it's better than nothing. Turok, as you see, it's got a bit of muck on it or whatever it is on it. Mm, I think it's a bit of dirt. It looks like a bit of dirt anyway. So, it's probably worth about three to five pounds. Probably I'd do with them both for fiver. It's probably worth fiver. WrestleMania 2000. 1080 snowboarding. WF No Mercy. One, actually, I haven't played this title yet, but I keep trying to get around it. But I, I test it, but I haven't played them fully through. Just one I need to play fully through. Only the Mario is because I'm actually playing at the moment. Uh, there we go. Nice condition copy. If you check on the copy on the back, that's how you check if they're legit. If you check the screws and all that. Probably do another top tips video to find out how to do fakes and all that. So, I'll do that soon for you guys. Um, another golden eye. Yes, I've got plenty of these already. And these I've got more. I've got 64, probably about five, uh, 20 to 25 pounds yet again. And another copy of Majora's Mask. It's in very good condition, though, mind you. So. 
And plus, if you check the numbers on the back, you know if they're fake or not, just by the numbers. And if you really want to check out to open the game, just um, use a screwdriver and check out the motherboard. There you go, I did another top tip right there. <laughs> That's not even the top tip video. But I'm happy about that. Um, I'll probably sell the 64 and probably keep the 64 stuff, the 64 games for Christmas. Uh, if you saw the box I got right near me right now, it is jam packed full of Mario's, Mario Kart's, I think a few Mario Parties, Majora's Mars, so much stuff in that box, it's crazy. But hope, hope this weekend is going to look good for pickups, I think. For last uh, Sunday, looks good, very hot weather lately though. So hopefully I'll pick up more at the, uh, Saturday and Sunday car boots because last week's car boot was packed but I didn't find much. Uh, I think I found about a few items but I'll probably show them on my next video anyway or maybe I already showed them, I don't know. Uh, thanks for watching anyway, remember to like, comment and subscribe below.